stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show, Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Dotec GU. Last recode. Anyhow, we are doing something. Crimson BS is in existence, and there's all sorts of things. I think I played it, don't really get it, so we'll see. Anyhow, there are important updates in the Crimson VS section of the community forums. The results are available for the Crimson VS battles. Alright, let's go here first to the mail. Get all of our mail out of the way. Uh, I think that I've been trying to get that back. I see. Still, I'm just happy you opened up to me a bit. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I want to do anything I can to help you. Sincerely, Adley. Thanks. Thanks for the offer. Yep. Gotta take care of my relationship statuses inside the real fake world. The fake real world. I, it's... It's fine. Alright, let's go into the Crimson VS thing briefly and... Crimson Versus! Yeah. The Crimson Versus. Since last time, three battles have been played, and we lost all three of them. Well, that, that sounds about right. Once battle results have been posted, you can use a log to see what happened during the battle. Viewing your log will let you know how you need to edit your deck in order to win. Choose log under the Versus menu to see your log. This screen lets you view the log of the last 20 battles. Choose the log you wish to view and press A to see its contents. Here you can see your win-loss record and what decks other PCs use. Use this information to put together a new winning deck. Oh, opponent players' decks contain trends. For example, when snipe trinities are the trend, opponent decks may or will have many a snipe cards. Putting together a deck with a trinity that is well suited to defeat the opponent's current trinity trend will make it much easier to win battles. Uh-huh. Sure. I don't really quite get it. So it looks like the those two cancel each other out. Yeah, I don't really understand. We have none that do damage, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I mean we have 16 AP or sorry HP versus for eight, but she's doing seven per hit. We're only doing two, so she's definitely winning this one. It'd be almost close, but she's literally two shots up on us. You lose. All right. Well, again, that's a nice little side kind of bonus thing. I'm sure there's a reason to play through these and get good at it and get good, but. I'm probably not going to do that. Well, at least not now. Maybe, maybe down the road. Maybe I'll play some uh, verses along the way, but we'll, we'll see. Alright, we got news, community forum, a movie player, and some accessories. What kind of accessories do we have that's new? Some new background music? I'm fine with the background music I have. Thank you very much. Um, Let's check out the news capture. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of stuff. Alright, I guess we'll select this one. Doll Syndrome Spreads. Free streaming will investigate the hottest topics for you. Salvador Ihara. Sure. Welcome to Online Jack, the no holds barred information program that brings you the hottest topics. Our star reporter, Salvador Ihara. We'll bring you all the dirt you want to know. And here's this week's Jack Target Doll Syndrome. Didn't we already read about this? I feel like we did. We don't do anything else? Okay. Our online Jack investigators have discovered a mysterious message in the hospital room of the missing uh, Osamu Kawaguchi. We now head to the home of Associate Professor... Professor... 
Professor uh, Shuge, sure, to decipher its cryptic meaning. Okay, everyone, let's call our Salvador Ayahara. Hey, folks, thanks for joining us. Uh, Salvador Ayahara's Online Track! The program that researches the hottest breakthrough topics and tells you everything you need to know about it. That's Online Jack. Our team, Maybe. along with teacher Michiru Tajima, has begun the search for missing child Osamu Kawaguchi. After an odd incident while investigating Doll Syndrome, the mysterious disease that has been spreading among elementary school students. We began by visiting the home of associate professor Taichiro Sugai. Okay. That is an interesting home setup. All right, this is Professor Sugai's private apartment. Man, can you believe it? His private life for all to see. Uh, still, you know. Be quiet. Uh, sir, we're so sorry. Hmm. Yes, please pardon our intrusion. If it wasn't for Mr. Jima's recommendation, I would have never let you get past Professor, the door. Professor, I only wish to find out the truth. Hmm. hmm. Professor. Hmm? Scaith, Innis, Magus. Do you have any idea what the blood-written words in Osamu's ward meant? Huh. Hmm? Interesting. Are you aware of the epitaph of Twilight? Yes. The what? Yes, I've heard of it. It was the novel that served as the basis for the settings of the world. It's a poem. And within it is contained the names of the eight ominous waves. Creepy. So you mean there really is a connection between this incident and the world? Whoever left the bloody words evidently had extremely strong feelings regarding the world. So it's possible that Osamu may not have been the one who wrote them, right? The word or anagram Ida which appeared in your show while you were taping at Osamu's is unknown. Weird. However... Did I miss that? Sakaki. Sakaki. Can you tell me about Sakaki? Mm hmm. There were six boys who were all part of the same guild in the online game, The World. Who knows a lot about the world? Hmm? This is. This is Moon Trees. The boys were also members of a guild called Moon Tree. So all those children were part of an online game group too? It's the <sighs> Seven Council. Ha! That's right. The PC name for one of the members of the Seven Council, a Moon Tree admin group, is Sakaki. Interesting. Oh, they were my like... pupil? These were taken before his disappearance. Oh my, that's Osamu. There were many unresolved rumors about the world circulating seven years ago. When a bunch of players fell into comas. What? Yes, I've come to believe that the world has some sort of effect on people's brains for some unknown reason. That's the hypothesis I based my investigation on. So everything is connected to the events of seven years ago? <gasps> Strange incidents such as irregularities in electrical equipment occurred in the hospital as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I wonder who sent me this email. Sheesh, Michiru, don't scare me like that. <laughs> Hmm? Jeez, a little jumpy there, huh, buddy? What? We have to stop it! <laughs> what are we having to stop? Michiru! That's not good, whatever that was. Michiru Tajima has just suddenly run out of Professor Sugai's apartment. What was the message on her cell phone that made her run? Hey, Michiru! Wait up! I feel like the strange part was that seemed to... That, was that a live feed? Because it looked like it was supposed to be like a video file, not a live streaming feed, so... I'm, I'm slightly confused by all this, but that's okay. It's... Yeah, 
I'm gonna say a little bit vague. All right, I think we've done enough for uh, news and things. Let's get into the gameplay a little bit, and then we'll come back uh, next time we're out on our quote-unquote desktop. We will continue our uh, little adventure. We have another mail. No, Adelie's just getting back to us left, right, and center. There is no need to thank me. I want to get to know you better. I want to look in the same direction as you, Adelie. Thank you, you're still creepy in a lot of ways. Alright, welcome back to the world. Alright, we're going on a deep dive in, ladies and gents. Let's get to the the old log. Let's go to the official forums. I know. I'm trying to get into the game and do a little bit of stuff too. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Aha! Sakaki. There's a lot of stuff here. Is any of this stuff new? Or is all of this stuff new? These are all logs. Hmm. I'm wondering if that means, like, at some point I... I don't know. It's fine. Unfortunately, I did have a kind of large gap after just starting the series. And I'm trying to get back into it a little bit more regularly. So I, I'll be a little behind the times as we go. But hopefully, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get there. This post has been deleted by an admin. Uh-huh. I'm just getting rid of the news. The new things, I should say. Machino 8Cs. Everyone, please calm down. Even if what uh, even if what you are all saying is true, no one will believe you with posts like that. While it's true that there was some server problem, and actually the server crashed for a while, it only lasted for a few minutes. It was nowhere near the length of time you guys have mentioned. This is a fact acknowledged by most players. If you wish to deny this, I can only say that you simply must calm down, relax, and please post what happened with as many details as possible. Deleted. Managing company. Kestrel and the others made a big deal. Okay. That does seem likely. Is it just me or does this all seem suspiciously made up? Maybe it's just a big joke that got started on another forum? I imagine that we've been posting about our experience in the the Ida server, essentially, and people aren't believing us, and they're covering it up by deleting these posts that are upsetting other people. That's that's the assumption I'm going on here. I gotta write this down. Ingrid, Alice, Hiroki, Fatal, Jack, Fue. Would you mind telling me your stories? I'll whisper you in town. Sir Nuada. May I humbly request that you allow me to sit in on your chat. On another note, it's amazing how thoroughly this conversation has been deleted. Yeah. Sure, that's fine. On another note, it's amazing. Uh, maybe there's something shady going on in the background. Heh. <laughs> Lol. Alright, that's enough lolling. Let's get to doing whatever it is that we're going to do. I think we have to go meet Adelie somewhere. Like a fountain or something. Yeah, we'll see. Welcome to Delta Eternal City Machina. Natalie is waiting for us at the water fountain down in the Alchemy District. There you go. Why are there wolf boar people? That's. That wasn't there before. You know what? That's fine. Alright. Let's go to the Alchemy District and go find good old Ats. Alright, add a little, oh, just a couple steps and we're there. Ah, I see So. Look, I mean, listen, I can speak normally again. Listen. But, what about your paralyzed hand? Well, it's still there. Hey, listen. It's fine. Sorry, Navi. But even so, the fact that I can speak is a big step forward. It's fair. Look, I even bought a controller that I can use with one hand. <laughs> That's, uh... Um... Are you sure you want to keep going with the world? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, aren't you scared? I know she got attacked by Ida. I don't remember the hand thing being a thing, but I guess. Come on. It's not like the world's going to go away. 
So why not just take some time off? Of course I'm scared. I'm scared, but... But I'm not going to quit the world, ever! Well, that's dedication. That's commitment. After all, I can tell. This isn't anything that a doctor can cure. If I don't do my best here, it'll never be healed. Creepy, but also probably true. There's... There's nothing I can do for Adderley, is there? So I have an avatar now. So what? Nothing's changed at all. First Shino, and then Adelie. I can't save anyone by myself. But you're not by yourself, dude. You got peace. And also, don't forget the fact that Sakaki is here. Mm. And... Maseo? You're not feeling well, are you? If you have time in the game, you should rest up. Oh. Okay. Well then. Dang. This is cold heart as ever. Such an idiot. Yep. It's here in the world where Adderley seems to feel most at home. Indeed. After all, this is where Sakaki is. Uh huh. That pleasant chap. That gentleman of gentlemen's. All right, well, I suppose we should probably just go back and check our mail again. Seems like we're gonna be doing a lot of that whole uh, Roman and returning type situation. But at least we're back on the main, the world servers, so. It's something. It is a thing that is happening. Onward! Can I just log out from anywhere? You unintentionally treated Adelie cruelly for relying on Sakaki. Well, I'll log out and check your email to help you forget. Well, yep, that's what I was gonna do. Just wanna see if there was anything uh, a little bit more inside that we could have done. That's alright. We advance in the storyline a little bit. There are some important unread emails. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody cares. All right. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, about Adley. How are you? Is everything all right now that you're back? I'm doing fine. It's as if I never left. Being trapped inside the world just seems like a bad dream now. You got an email from Adley, right? I got one too, which is why I'm writing you this one now. Actually, I'm at my part-time job. I have to be real careful not to get spotted by my boss. Otherwise, I'll cut my paycheck on the spot. It's not too easy, though. Apparently, she went to the hospital with her mother, and now they think she might have Dull Syndrome. I just hope that the results of her other tests have some good news. She also said that Yada told her all about Ida and GU, but frankly, I don't think there was any need to tell her now. What do you think? Seriously, what on earth could he be thinking? Even after we got back from the Ida serve. Sorry about that. My boss came by to check on us, and I hit the send button by accident when I tried to hide my cell phone. Anyway, as I was saying, Adelie's condition didn't heal completely even after we got back from the Ida server. In that case, there's only one thing we can do. Get back Adelie's epitaph from that Ida. That is our only choice. I bet Yada is investigating its whereabouts right now. I plan to go ask him about it once I'm done with this job. You'll come along too, right? Let's meet up in front of Raven's at home. Oh, P.S. It seems like Adelie still needs to process all this new stuff. Not surprising seeing what's happened and all. Be nice to her if you see her, okay? Whoopsie! Hmm. It looks like Adelie wrote Kuhn an awfully detailed email. I guess she really is putting some distance between us after the whole Sakaki thing. Uh-huh. To the Goo members. Come to Raven's at home. I wonder if maybe... Well, guess I'll go to Raven's at home for now. Maybe the next step along our journey for enlightenment is to go to Raven's at home. I don't know. That's just the, the, you know, the way I'm leaning right now. Totally wrong, probably, but it seems like it could be the thing. Could be right. 
could be right. Yeah, we're gonna log in, and I suppose we'll probably go there. You know, we might go there in the next episode. I know we didn't do a, a tremendously huge amount right Let's now. Let's go to Ravens at home. But we, at least we have a plan. We know what we need to do or what we should be doing. So I think I'm going to break off the episode right here. And in the next episode, we will head to... Oh, I'm, I might just start right outside Ravens at Home. And yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy Mix Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. And I will see you later. <laughs>